this is power bi september 2025 feature summary and in this uh, month they have released a new feature let me scroll down to modeling section and there is a new feature called as user defined function this is in preview and um, as shown here you have already a custom functions uh, feature in power uh, query but mm -hmm. with use udfs you can uh, define uh, parameters as well so any kind of complex uh, problems can be encapsulated by multiple reusable functions so you have to enable it uh, in your uh, settings and uh, preview features once you do that uh, defining a function is pretty easy you can you do it in dax query view or timdel and you can define a function using the function keyword as shown here this is a syntax and for example this is what they have shown add tax is the name of the function and this is the parameter and this is the body of the function once you add it um, you add it to the model you can call the function from other places where you can use dax such as measures for example right these are the various ways you can uh, pass the parameters and there is exhaustive documentation you can look into the documentation but in this video we will try to look at a basic uh, example so that we'll understand at a superficial level what is a udf and how to use them in real world so let me just uh, go ahead and uh, go to dax query view and try to uh, create a new uh, function as shown here i can define the function that is a definition i am defining a function named fn ytd and this is the measure to evaluate the name and that is a parameter type and this is the body i'm using calculate i'm using a date year to date and passing the date column from my calendar table i can evaluate once i evaluate i can see the results up below and also i can update model by adding this function once i do that in the model view once i update it you can see that in model view in the functions area there is a new function there if i uh, scroll down i can see the function there once i have defined the function i can create a new measure and uh, i can call this function from that measure so for example i'm creating a total revenue year to date and like any built-in function once i click on the function name i have uh, those uh, values appear intelligence will give you all the things which you have defined earlier so for example i am passing the total revenue here and close the parenthesis and my measure is ready i can use this measure in any of the visions right and similarly i can also create another um, measure i will try to use the total profit this time and intelligence will pick up the function for example we have that uh, fn ytd ytd right it will uh, show those details here once i use this i have my two measures i can use that in a table visual as shown so it's pretty easy to understand we have just scratched the surface and uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next video